Taking his turn at the Meet the Press series in Accra on Sunday, November 13, the Works and Housing Minister said government is not willing to make any further financial commitments to the Saglemi housing project. Government has decided to explore the possibility of selling the Saglemi affordable housing project, covering the 1,506 housing units at current value to a private sector entity to complete and sell the housing units to the public at no further cost to the state. The proceeds from this transaction, this sale, will come to the state and it will be reinvested into affordable housing projects. The minister indicated that a technical working team made up of professionals and experts has been set up to oversee and spearhead all engagements required for the completion of the project. Government will have to provide additional financing to the tune of approximately 46 million US dollars to provide off-site infrastructure, that is water, electricity, and storm drain to make the housing units habitable. There is the need to invest approximately 68 million dollars to complete the buildings and other essential on-site infrastructure works at the site. What makes the Saglemi affordable housing project even more complicated is that government has expended approximately $196 million. And upon further consideration, government does not intend to expend additional taxpayers' money towards the completion of the project. The Saglemi housing project was initially planned to deliver 5,000 housing units, but the scope of work was revised to 1,506 units. Former Works and Housing Minister Alhaji Collins Dauda, together with Kwekwa Jiman Mensa, a former minister, Chief Director of the Housing Ministry, Alhaji Ziblim Yakubu, Executive Chairman of Constructura OAS Ghana Limited, Andrew Klokanas, and Novi Tete Angelo, are currently on trial over the Saglemi housing project. They have pleaded not guilty to charges of causing financial loss to the state.